Hey guys, what's up? This is Ari in Beijing, otherwise known as Xiaoma. Um, wanted to give you a really cool update on what I've been working on. So, um, uh, in maybe about a week or so, I'm going to launch a new Chinese-only channel, um, which is really exciting. been working with an amazing Taiwanese guy who used to be the head of digital media strategy at National Geographic Taiwan on, a, um, on an awesome new Chinese channel with a bunch of cool stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's not actually launched yet, but when it is, I'll give you a more formal update and obviously link you to all the stuff. Um, but so today, though, in kind of in honor of that Chinese stuff, I um, wanted to talk about a more directly Chinese related topic today, which is Cheng Yu. So whether you studied Chinese or not, I think this might be interesting um, to a lot of you. Um, so what are Cheng Yu, right? Cheng Yu, um, that's C-H-E-N-G-Y-U. Um, a lot of times they're, they're a very interesting feature of Chinese. Um, a lot of times people translate them as idioms, right? But... Cheng Yu actually go much deeper than idioms. They're not quite idioms, right? Really what they are are four character historical idioms borrowed from classical Chinese, right? So maybe I say that and you don't quite really understand the implications of what I'm saying. So um, to give you a metaphor that I often use to explain to people what Cheng Yu actually are, um, imagine... Uh, you know, let's say let's say you're American and um, um, or from an English-speaking country, and uh, you know, in high school, you know, we we read Shakespeare maybe. Um, but let's say that instead of just reading Shakespeare in high school, we read it in elementary school, but not just during one or two years, but all of the years, right? And um, and not just read it, but memorized it, committed the entire thing to memory, and then certain. Phrases about Shakespeare, you know, maybe, 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 maybe certain sentences like to be or not to be, um, we use in day-to-day -day conversation as kind of a general stopgap for like, you know, you see an interesting situation, you're like, oh, that situation seems like to be or not to be, or, you know, Hamlet died or something like that, right? So basically it's these stock phrases borrowed from ancient classical literature um, used to describe contemporary uh, situations and the grammar, of course, just as in the Shakespeare example in Chinese, would follow, um, you know, classical Chinese grammar. So, one of the, you know, the, these these uh, these Yu, they're they're really amazing insights into Chinese culture um, and Chinese history, uh, and they I think they kind of speak to the respect the Chinese people have for their own civilization and for their history. Um, but as a learner of Chinese, one of the things that I think makes Chinese so difficult to learn, um, you know, as a foreigner, um, you know, especially one who has little exposure to, to Chinese culture, is that you have to, to, to really be a fully literate adult, you need to know a lot of Cheng Yu, a lot, uh, and, you know, have some degree of facility with classical Chinese grammar, right? Um, and it's a it's a problem in learning Chinese because you know a lot of people say that Chinese grammar and you know certain other things are relatively simple. But one thing that is not simple about Chinese is how much history, uh, you know, and cultural context you have to know to be considered a fully functional uh, literate adult. Again, using the Shakespeare example, it's as though to learn English well you had to have memorized uh, you know Hamlet, right? N not quite as extreme, but I think you get my point. Um, and so. The, really, the amount of time that native speakers of Chinese have spent learning their language and learning um, all of this history and, and classical grammar, classical language, and classical literature um, makes it so much harder as a foreigner to really enter, um, you know, into that into that world of of Cheng Yu, of these historical historical sayings, um, these four character set phrases. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's basically all I have. Um, again, uh, if you like this content, please subscribe. You know, I'm going to keep posting these, these, um, these videos in English for my English speaking audience. And then, um, for anybody out there who speaks Chinese, uh, definitely stay tuned because I'm going to have some great Chinese only content, um, coming to you very shortly. So, um, see you next week. Have a good one.